I'm going to tie a putter ball caddis and I'm starting off with a size 14 dry fly hook in the vise. The thread that I'll use is an 8 op black. So I'm just going to get this started in the front of the hook shank and I'll trim off the tag. And I'm just going to wrap this down to about the point in the hook or so and then I'll bring it back up just creating a little bit of a, a thread base there. And then I'll leave this at about the two thirds mark in the hook shank. Now I can tie in uh, my body and for that I'm going to use just a piece of uh, black foam cut into about a quarter inch strip. I'm going to trim this so that I have a point to tie into and I'm going to lay down just a little drop or two of zap -a gap and this will help that seat itself. So I'll just start to Pack that up a little bit and then I can tie it into place. And I'll just trim this back to about the end of the overall hook and I'll just set that on top and it'll start to set up. Just makes it a little bit more structurally sound. Alright, and as that starts to dry then I can begin to make my wing and for that I'm going to use a elk hair, an elk hair. I'm just going to take off a clump. A little bit different uh, than an elk hair caddis where you're relying on the elk hair to keep it afloat. This is pretty buoyant with uh, the foam so it floats better. That being said, you don't need to use quite as much uh, elk hair with this as you would for an elk hair caddis. So I'll just put this in my stacker, give it some taps to align the tips, and then I'll measure this out and I want it to be just a little bit longer than the foam. So I'm just going to transfer hands there and make my cut. And now I can tie this in. right on top of the foam. I'll add hackle to this and for that I'm just going to use a furnace hackle. So I've taken a section and trimmed it and left a bit of stem to tie in. So I'll put that right on the side and now I can just advance this all the way up through. Take my tackle pliers to give me a little bit more control. So just making my wraps, advancing this up through. putting a nice collar on it and then when I get to my thread I'll just tie it off. So I'll take a loop or two and trim. Now I'll hold everything back and then to whip finish Trim the excess thread. I'll put a drop of head cement on this just to keep everything in place. And pretty, pretty simple, great floating caddis pattern and that is the putterball caddis.